good day! This is Miss LM and we're back for another video about factoring polynomials. We have different factoring techniques and some of them have already been discussed in a video lesson. If you want to learn about factoring greatest common monomial factors, I will put the link down below and also for the binomials. So when we say binomials, these are the polynomials that having uh, two terms. And meron tayong specific na factoring techniques para sa mga kagaya ng difference of two squares at sa sum or difference of two cubes. So, yung mga videos natin about this factoring techniques, I will be putting the link on the description box below. Now, punta na tayo sa factoring techniques for trinomials. So, when we say trinomials, these are the polynomials having three terms. And, meron tayong iba't ibang trinomials na pwedeng ma-factor. And, some of them are what we call the PST or perfect square trinomials. Then the other one are general trinomials, A is equals to 1. And general trinomials, A is greater than 1. But for this video, we are going to focus on the first one, which is the perfect square trinomials or PST. Okay, so paano nga ba natin masasabi ng isang trinomial ay isang perfect square trinomial? So a perfect square trinomial is a special type of trinomial because of its characteristics as follows. So isa daw special type ng trinomial, ang PST. Bakit kaya? So we have the first characteristic. The first and the last terms of the trinomial are perfect squares and are always positive. So, sabi dito, yung first and last term daw ng ating PST ay perfect squares. So, again, pag sinabi natin perfect squares, sila ay yung mga terms na may square root. At maliban doon, dapat daw laging positive yung ating first at yung ating last term. So, let's have some examples. So, we have here x squared again. Perfect square siya kasi yung ating exponent ay divisible by 2. We have 36a to the 4th. So, yung a to the 4th, again, yung 4 divisible by 2. 36 may square root siya and that is 6. We also have 49 and m to the 4th power. Another characteristic of a PST is that the middle term is twice the product of the square roots of the first and last terms of the trinomial and may be positive or negative. So, kung dun sa first characteristic, yung first and last term laging positive, dito naman sa middle term, pwede siyang maging positive at maging negative. And dapat nating tandaan ay itong part na to, that the middle term is twice the product of the square roots of the first and last term. Kailangan daw, pag pinag-multiply natin yung square root ng first and last term at minultiply natin sa 2, katumbas siya ng middle term ng ating trinomials. Let us determine the following trinomials, whether it is a PST or not. We have here 16m squared plus 8m plus 1. So, are the first and last terms of trinomial perfect square and are always positive? So, may square root daw ba yung first and last term natin? The answer is yes. And sila daw ba ay parehong positive? The answer also is yes. Punta tayo sa second characteristic. Is the middle term twice the product of the square roots of the first and last terms of the trinomial? So, kailangan daw itong middle term ay twice ng product ng square roots ng first and last term. So, kunin muna natin yung square root. Ano nga ba yung square root ni 16m squared? The answer is 4m. And ano yung square root ni 1? The answer is 1. So, 4m is the square root of 16m squared and 1 is the square root of 1. Now, yung ating kailangan tandaan. Twice the product. So, get the product first. 4m times 1 is 4m. Then, if we multiply it by 2, kasi nga twice, 4m times 2, the answer is 8m. Ito dapat daw ang ating middle term. Yun nga ba yung middle term natin? The answer is yes. So, dahil pasok siya sa dalawang characteristics, automatically, 16m squared plus 8m plus 1, yes, it is a PST. Next, let us have x squared plus 10x minus 25. Again, first characteristic, ang tanong, are the first and last terms of the trinomial perfect square and are always positive? 
Perfect square ba ang first term? Perfect square din ba ang last term? The answer is yes, they are both perfect squares. But positive ba pareho? So, yung ating first term, yes, positive. Pero yung ating last term, as you can see, minus ito. And if we apply the loss of sign, and kung natatandaan nyo yung abbreviation na KCC, we keep change and change. So, from positive 25, pag in natin yung rule na yon or yung law na yon magiging negative yung 25. Or, in short, yung ating last term is not positive. So, the last term is negative. That is why this trinomial is not a PST. So, no, it is not a PST. Next, y to the 6th power minus 16y cubed plus 64. Unang condition, may square root ba si first term? May square root ba si last term? The answer is yes. And then, positive ba sila pareho? Also, the answer is yes. Now, dun sa second characteristic, tingnan natin kung yung middle term nga ba ay pasok dun sa characteristic na yon. Kunin ang square root ng first term, so that's y cubed. Kunin ang square root ng last term, square root of 64 is 8. Then, multiply both. 8 times y cubed is 8y cubed. Multiply by 2, the answer is 16y cubed. At yun nga po ba ang ating middle term? Yes, that is why y to the 6th power minus 16y cubed plus 64, yes, it is a PST. Okay? Next, we have 4 plus 10b plus 25b squared. So, first condition or first characteristic, ang 4 ba ay may square root? Ang 25b squared ba ay may square root? The answer is yes. And pareho ba silang positive? Also, the answer is yes. Now, tingnan ulit natin. Second characteristic, yung ating middle term. Kailangan daw twice ng product ng square root ay katumbas nito. So, ano bang square root ni 4? That is 2. Anong square root ni 25? That is 5. And square root ni b squared, so b. So, 2 times 5b is 10b. But again, meron tayo nung word na twice, so imumultiply natin siya by 2. 10b times 2 is 20b. 20b po ba yung ating middle term? So the answer is no. That is why this trinomial is not a PST. Again, kapag ang ating middle term ay hindi twice the product of the roots, automatically hindi siya considered as PST. Malinaw po ba? Okay.